In one of my previous tutorials, I demonstrated how to create a moving film strip effect in Avid Media Composer. Check out this effect based on the building blocks of my earlier tutorial. If you find this tutorial useful, be sure to check out Genius DV's Media Composer training packages to Orlando, Florida. Before you start this effect, you may want to review my earlier tutorial because it explains things in a bit more detail when starting this effect. Start with three video tracks and at least six three-second clips in a sequence. From the effects palette, drag the 3D PIP effect onto the first clip in your timeline. Press the Effect Mode button. Move over to the Record side of the Composer window and drag the Playhead indicator to the first frame. Press the Add Keyframe button. Press the Reduce button so you can see outside the visible picture area. Move the picture-in-picture -picture off to the right edge of the visible area. Move the playhead indicator to the last frame of the clip. Again, press the Add Keyframe button. Now move the picture-in-picture -picture off to the left side of the visible area. Store the effect from the Effect Editor window by dragging it into a bin. Click on this timecode track to exit Effect Mode. Then drag a marquee lasso around all your clips within the timeline. Double click on your effect that you stored in the bin. Press the number 2 key three times to advance a total of 30 frames within the timeline. Hold down the command key and drag the next clip up and over to V2 so it snaps to the playhead indicator. Repeat this process until you've got a moving film strip. Park over the middle of one of your clips on V3 and press the Effect Mode button. Move over to the Composer window and press the Add Keyframe button. Move your picture in picture down towards the bottom of the screen. Click on the Y Rotation button within the Effects Editor window. Go ahead and rotate your picture-in-picture -picture effect. Store your new effect into a bin. You may want to give it a name. Select all your clips in the timeline by dragging a lasso around them or shift-clicking on them. Double-click on your new effect that you saved in a bin. Okay, that's it. Check it out. Now, if you want to have different media on the back side of each picture in picture, check out my earlier tutorial for creating a nest in Avid Media Composer. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Media Composer training class, visit GeniusDV.com.